The LCH Prachan and Airbus H-145M helicopters are both modern, multi-role helicopters designed for different military purposes. Talking about Prachand, India faces security challenges along its mountainous borders, particularly in regions like the Himalayas and Ladakh, where conventional helicopters struggle to operate due to low oxygen levels and rugged terrain. The Prachand plays a vital role in border patrol, surveillance, and combat search and rescue operations, making it an essential tool for protecting India's territorial integrity. In contrast, the H-145M was created by France through Airbus to serve as a multi-role utility helicopter capable of supporting a variety of military missions. The primary purpose of the H-145M is to provide versatility across several roles, including troop transport, medical evacuation, reconnaissance, and light attack operations. While the Prachand focuses heavily on combat, the H-145M offers more flexibility, being suited for both combat and non-combat roles. And today we will compare both of these helicopters for their strengths, features, and capabilities. So let's start. Let's talk about the dimensions first. The Prachand is designed with a compact structure suited for combat in extreme environments. It has a length of about 15.8 meters and a height of 4.7 meters. The helicopter has a maximum takeoff weight of approximately 5.8 tons, which translates into 5,800 kilograms. Its design includes a narrow fuselage and tandem seating for the pilot and weapons officer, which optimizes visibility and control during missions. The Prachand also features a small rotor diameter to allow for easier maneuvering in high-altitude regions. On the other hand, the H-145M has a versatile design suitable for a variety of missions. It is slightly shorter than the LCH, with a length of around 13.64 meters and a height of 3.95 meters. The maximum takeoff weight is lower compared to the LCH at around 3.7 tons, translates into 3,700 kilograms. Its compact structure allows it to land in confined spaces, making it highly effective for rapid deployment in diverse scenarios. So the Prachand is larger and heavier, designed for high-altitude combat, while the H-145M is lighter and more adaptable for various roles, with a focus on flexibility. Coming to the speed and altitude, the Prachand can achieve a maximum speed of around 268 kilometers per hour, making it fast enough to engage targets quickly and evade enemy fire. It has a combat range of 550 kilometers. This range is particularly important for operations in remote or hostile areas. The helicopter's service ceiling, or maximum operational altitude, is an impressive 6,500 meters. This high altitude capability makes it ideal for use in mountainous regions. On the other hand, the H-145M's maximum speed is slightly lower than the Prachand at around 250 kilometers per hour. Its range is about 640 kilometers, giving it a slight edge in operational range compared to the Prachand. In terms of altitude, it has a service ceiling of about 5,485 meters, which is lower than the Prachand but sufficient for most missions that require high-altitude performance. Talking about engine and power, both helicopters are powered by advanced engine systems, though they are optimized for different missions and environments. The Prachand is equipped with two HAL Turbomika Shakti engines, which were developed in collaboration between Hindustan Aeronautics Limited of India and Safran of France. The Shakti engines deliver strong performance even at altitudes above 6,000 meters, allowing the helicopter to handle both high temperatures and low oxygen environments. These engines produce around 1,132 horsepower each, giving the Prachand excellent thrust and lift capabilities. The dual engine setup ensures reliability and safety, which is critical in military applications. The H-1445M, in comparison, is powered by two Safran Aerial 2E engines, which are smaller but highly efficient. Each engine generates around 894 horsepower. Less powerful than the Shakti engines, 
but sufficient for the H145M's lighter airframe and versatile roles. The Ariel 2E engines are known for their advanced full authority digital engine control system, which optimizes engine performance and reduces pilot workload by managing the engine's performance electronically. These engines are highly reliable and have been used in various other helicopter models, further proving their robustness. While both helicopters use twin engine setups for reliability and performance, the Prachan's engines are more powerful, tailored for combat in harsh environments. Coming to the weapons and payload capacity, the Prachand is built to handle significant combat payloads. It has a maximum payload capacity of 1,500 kilograms, which allows it to carry various weapons and ammunition. It is armed with a 20 mm nose-mounted cannon, which is used for close-range engagements. It can also carry 70 mm rockets for ground attack missions. It is equipped with air-to-air -air missiles like the Mistral, and also capable of carrying anti-tank guided missiles, such as the indigenous Helena, which is designed to destroy enemy tanks and other armored targets. In contrast, the H-145M is designed for multi-role operations. The maximum payload capacity of the H-145M is about 1,700 kilograms. For its combat missions, the H-145M can be equipped with a 12.7 mm machine gun, 20 mm cannon pods, and 70 mm rockets, similar to the LCH for engaging ground targets. It can also carry guided missiles, such as the Spike ER anti-tank missile, which enables it to engage armored threats. The H-145M can be outfitted with air-to-ground missiles and laser-guided rockets, making it effective in precision strikes. While both helicopters have significant payload capacities, the Prachand is heavily armed for direct combat, whereas the H-145M offers more versatility with a focus on multi-role missions, including both light attack and support roles. Coming to the avionics and targeting systems, both helicopters' control systems differ based on their roles. The Prachand features a glass cockpit with multifunctional displays, which provide critical information such as flight data, targeting systems, and navigation. The helicopter also has integrated digital moving map displays to assist with real-time navigation during missions in difficult terrain. The automatic flight control system improves handling and stability, particularly during combat maneuvers and high-altitude flights. In terms of targeting systems, the Prachand is equipped with a helmet-mounted sight and display, which allows pilots to aim and fire weapons just by looking at the target. It also features a forward-looking infrared sensor and an electro-optical pod, which are crucial for detecting and engaging targets in low visibility or night conditions. It has a target acquisition and designation system, which enhances precision in targeting enemy positions. The helicopter uses radar warning receivers and missile approach warning systems to improve survivability against incoming threats. On the other hand, the H-145M has a different focus when it comes to avionics and flight control systems. It features a Helionics avionics suite, which includes four-axis autopilot and digital cockpit displays that reduce pilot workload, making the helicopter easier to control in complex missions. The Helionic system integrates all major controls, including navigation, communication, and mission data into a streamlined interface. This system is highly automated, offering pilots assistance with flight management, navigation, and systems monitoring allowing them to focus on mission-specific tasks. For targeting, the H-145M can be equipped with an electro-optical infrared system similar to the FLIR on the LCH. It also has laser targeting pods, which are used to guide precision weapons, particularly for ground support missions. While it does not have a helmet-mounted targeting system like the LCH, the H-145M features advanced sensors and cameras to enhance target detection and engagement. So while comparing, the Prachan's avionics and targeting systems are more combat-focused, which the H-145M's avionics offer greater flexibility and automation, making it suitable for multi-role missions. 
but it lacks the specialized targeting systems of the LCH. Coming to the survivability, the Prachan's survivability is enhanced by its light armor protection, which shields both the cockpit and critical systems. This armor is designed to protect the crew from small arms fire and shrapnel, which are common in battlefield scenarios. Additionally, the helicopter's self-sealing fuel tanks reduce the risk of fire if the helicopter is hit by enemy fire, adding a critical layer of survivability in combat. On the other hand, the H-145M, while not as combat specialized as the Prachan, still incorporates several survivability features. It is equipped with ballistic protection around the cockpit and vital areas, ensuring the safety of the crew from small arms fire and light weapons. Although its armor is not as extensive as that of dedicated attack helicopters like the LCH, it is sufficient for its roles in light attack and support missions. Talking about cost, the Prachand is priced at approximately $16 million per unit. This cost includes the combat-focused features, high-altitude operational capabilities, and extensive weapon systems integrated into the helicopter. The Prachand is relatively affordable when compared to other attack helicopters, partly due to indigenous production by India. In contrast, the H-145M is more expensive, with a unit cost of around $20 million to $25 million. This higher price reflects its European manufacturing, versatile multi-role capabilities, and advanced avionics systems. The H-145M is positioned in the market as a high-tech multi-mission platform, which can justify its higher cost for nations that prioritize operational flexibility. As of now, the Prachand has seen 16 units inducted into the Indian Air Force and Indian Army. The total number of helicopters planned for production is 179 units, with deliveries happening in phases. While the H-145M has a broader international presence, with over 200 units currently in service worldwide. Multiple countries, including Germany, Hungary, Brazil, and others, have placed orders for the H-145M with more than 150 units produced as of now. The helicopter continues to receive new orders. In summary, while the Prachand focuses heavily on combat, particularly in high-altitude warfare, the H-145M offers more flexibility, being suited for both combat and non-combat roles. Which helicopter do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.